Again, here at six with those numbers that have made the state's seven day average of new cases the highest it's ever been since the start of the pandemic. It's really unbelievable yep. here over the past two days. Michigan added 14,561 new cases. That's an average of 7,280 cases per day. And sadly, we've lost another 242 lives. The state's seven day positivity rate is nearly 17%. Vaccination efforts are continuing for children. The White House says about 10% of children ages 5 to 11, about 10% have received their first dose. Pfizer booster shots could be available to all adults as early as this weekend. Uh, with the Thanksgiving holiday approaching, a lot of people wondering if they're a good idea. Dr. Frank Me George here with a closer look at the basics when it comes to boosters. Doc? Yeah, so Kim and Devin, the FDA is expected to authorize Pfizer boosters for anyone age 18 and up as early as tomorrow. And the CDC is going to meet on Friday to weigh in as well. But I know from the questions that I'm hearing that there is still a lot of confusion about who needs a booster and why. A booster dose is already recommended for about 60% of adults, including everyone over age 65, any adults with underlying health problems or a higher risk of exposure, and everyone who received the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There is growing evidence that those who were vaccinated first are becoming less protected over time. Although the highest risk are those people who are unvaccinated, we are seeing an increase in emergency department visits among adults age 65 and older, which are now again higher than they are for younger age groups. If it's been at least six months since you were vaccinated, a booster dose can help boost antibody levels back up. That's especially important for preventing breakthrough cases in high-risk people. We also have new data that look at COVID-19 cases in long-term care facilities from our National Healthcare Safety Network. When we compare rates of COVID-19 disease between those who are vaccinated with two doses and those who have received a booster dose, the rate of disease is markedly lower for those who received their booster shot, demonstrating our boosters are working. Now, I want to be very clear. You do not have to get your booster where you received your original shots. You can get a booster at your local pharmacy or any other location that offers the vaccines. Just check to make sure that they have the vaccine that you want and whether appointments are required. Also, be sure to take your vaccine card with you so the booster dose can be added to the vaccine record that you keep on your person. Frank, we appreciate it. Uh, one more thing, though, with Thanksgiving is what a week from tomorrow. Is it too late to get that extra protection before yeah. you head to Thanksgiving dinner at grandma's? Well, you know, your protection is going to start building up basically right after the booster is given. So, no, it's not too late to get a booster. And remember, the holiday season is really just beginning. Yeah. There's a lot more after sure. Thanksgiving. Yeah. So right. Good point. Okay. Thank you, Dr. McGeorge. Well, you